We got the strong photo shoot going on here, guys, in the gym. The bottle over here doing some weird shit. Yeah. Check this out. We got here. All right, guys, so I finally figured out my workout program, my workout split. Talked to Lovato about it, and I've got him to agree to uh, hit the gym the same days that I hit it. So we're perfectly in line. Everything's worked out really well. As you guys know, he has uh, moved into my house um, with my parents, yeah, Myron. Um, I've got a lot of comments about, uh, Matt, isn't that kind of weird that you live with your parents and Lovato moved in with your parents? And uh, quite honestly, it's not that weird. And actually, um, I enjoy it. We're having a really good time, getting a lot of work done. And uh, I have actually lived outside the parents' house for about a year. I was in a condo, and that was in 2011. And I moved back because uh, I had some crazy partying roommates. But um, yeah, I actually enjoy living at home. It's not even that bad. I like it a lot. <laughs> um, the way I see it is, uh, if anything, you know, this house that I live in currently is actually going to be mine one day. And I actually take pride in uh, living in it and taking care of it, taking care of my parents when I need to, staying around for my dad who's 78 years old now. And uh, I really don't know how much more time I'll have with him. So I uh, am enjoying every minute that I do have with him. I, will, I like to watch TV with him, spend time, talk, and uh, just get his wisdom, you know, before before it's too late. So that's uh, really why I enjoy living at home, you know. Plus, the other perks that a lot of people seem to think are the only reasons why I live at home. Yeah, I do have, um, I do get to save money living at home. And um, it is, it's easier, sure, living at home. But like I said, the main reasons are the main reasons that I, that I said before. We got Lovato on the same workout program as me. He likes living at my house. Uh, him and my dad get along well. My mom, we all get along really well. Uh, he's got his room upstairs. We moved around a few things upstairs. And we're crazy productive. It's insane. And just this week, we went to uh, the gym, this gym that you see right here. And we, one night we were in here filming for four or five hours for workout tutorials. And two nights ago, uh, we were in here for six hours from like, 8 p.m. to 3 a.m. almost filming for the uh, LOA tutorial videos. So that was incredible. Got a ton of work done. Um, we are on a Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday kind of workout split. Uh, basically, it's a customized version of Lane Norton's uh, PHAT, Power Hypertrophy Adaptive Training Program. Um, although it's really, really, really customized. Monday is my leg day. Tuesday is upper body day. Uh, Wednesday off. Thursday is legs, Friday push, and uh, Saturday is pull. So I kind of like that because it gives um, you know, specific days on and specific days off, whereas beforehand, um, you know, it was three on, one off. So that kind of helps. We can plan ahead uh, for like Wednesday date nights, Sunday date nights with the girls, that sort of thing. So I kind of like that. Um, my Monday and Tuesday are my power days, so slightly ro uh, lower rep ranges for most lifts. And uh, sorry, brain fart. Wednesday uh, is off. Thursday, Friday, Saturday are hypertrophy uh, days, so slightly higher rep ranges. Um, I'm gonna go into depth and actually probably pull up the whiteboard for you guys in a video, uh, kind of write down all the exercises that I'm doing, why, and and so on. Everything's really tailor-made for my body, uh, for how I like to work out, the exercises I enjoy doing, the exercises I want to improve on, and all that sort of jazz. So Lovato moving in it is so motivating for us both to get 10 times more work done on a daily basis now that we're together, now that uh, we have two minds instead of two minds separated by a couple hundred miles. We're mad at work every day and night, going to bed late, waking up early, um, working on videos, um, filming things, planning things, writing up script and so on. We're getting so much stuff done and uh, I really feel like we're creating history uh, behind the scenes at the moment, like really seriously. Uh, some people are still wondering what is this Legends of Aesthetics gonna be? And quite honestly, it's gonna be something that we wish 
we had when we started lifting weights, when we started digging into nutrition, what should I eat? You know, how many times should I eat? Uh, how many times should I work out per week? Uh, what body parts should I work with other body parts? What rep ranges are the best? <laughs> you know, these were questions that both of us had when we started lifting weights. Um, what exercises should I stay away from? How do I squat? How do I deadlift? Uh, what, sh what foods should I avoid? What foods should I eat? And these are the questions that we get asked on a minutely basis. We get questions practically um, dozens an hour in all of our forms of social media, email, Instagram, and so on. We get questions every single minute. And this uh, is our way of educating the masses who are asking us these questions. This is our way of giving back what we wish we had when we started lifting weights. Um, I know how it feels to be a beginner. I know how it feels to um, not really understand nutrition, like what foods should I eat, how often, uh, how often, or like how quickly after a workout. Uh, I once had all of these questions and it seriously mind fucks you. Not really knowing how the body works, not knowing how training works, not knowing what you should do. And it was crazy because after the 2011 contest season, um, so many of these questions were answered in our minds, Chris Lovato and mine. And when we got together, we had the same vision of creating this environment, creating this team where this shared knowledge gets um, is reinforced and is handed down to the newbies who join the team, who join the website and so on. And everyone gets on the same page quickly and easily. Everyone's making mad gains. And it isn't taking people years and years and years to learn the truth. In fact, as soon as they become a member of the team, they learn the truth within just a couple of days, within a couple of hours. They understand nutrition quickly rather than, uh, you know, after years of spinning their wheels, you know, going from one type of diet to another. Uh, that was our focus and our dream with Legends of Aesthetics. That on-camera muscle confusion. It's like a black hole. Nip slip too, you try it. You try it? What? You guys can me with the diaper next time. Hopefully, it's gonna be a plan B. <laughs> I need it. <laughs> Alright. You know what's funny? is like. <laughs> you see, you like run to the grocery store, grab plan B after you smash someone? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Mid set. Mid set. <laughs> Mid set lulls. I just go straight to the abortion clinic. <laughs> 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 Super sperm checking in. She's already like six, six months pregnant. I'm smash. <laughs> so, yeah, back to the topic. Um, we knew that this could not be done with just a YouTube channel. It, that's not going to be done. It's not organized enough. Um, it, it, it's not an environment where people can come together and share ideas and so on. Uh, we needed to have a platform where people could come learn the truth, but also interact with others who are on the same page. So we thought up of this website, this community, Legends of Aesthetics. So multifaceted, guys. And um, it's been, like I said, over two years now that we created the name and, and the concept and so on, and every day we're working towards uh, making it reality. And every day it seems to get closer and closer and closer. Web designing is looking better and better. It's getting more and more progress. Um, we're getting more and more videos done. Like I said, just the other day we were in this gym for six hours. Uh, working on our exercise tutorials and really building that thing that we wish we had when we started and that we think will be the uh, the future of, uh, of the industry 
So I'm capping this video off, what do I think about Chris Lovato moving in with me? Obviously, I think it was a super smart decision. We're getting so much work done. All we need is uh, Jeff sign at Long Goodbye to move in as well. <laughs> that was actually a comment I read the other day. I laughed my ass off. It was hilarious. Um, we're getting so much done, so productive. Uh, and as always, we love your guys' support. It means a lot to us. And if you guys have any suggestions for um, the website, for anything, videos, the tutorials, um, for the community aspect, for the clothing line, etc. You can email um, the official LOA email, legendsofaesthetics at gmail.com. And uh, we'll be, we read every single damn email, every single email, and respond to those that need to be responded to. So uh, I appreciate it all, and thank you very much. Really excited. You got these two boys on the phone? Alright. Yeah. Okay. Just ready to go. Um, do you want to spend the night, or um, do you want to take you home, or are you going to bike just, home? Or? I can probably have a bike home. Dude, it's late. You're going to get fucking strong. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to spit out your gum. <laughs> well, I'll let you decide what you want to do. I'm cool with bike home. Seems kind of late. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you.